Hello and welcome to Perspectives, where we take a deep dive into the issues of the day and where we take a look at people's opinions on such issues. I am Ruth Osime. Welcome back to Perspectives here on Arise News. Asaba movies, or Asaba Wood, as some would call it, is a terminology used to describe the bulk of Nollywood movies shot in Asaba. They are part of the Nollywood regarded as old Nollywood. Even though these movies are low budget, mediocre, and lack world standard, they remain the biggest part of Nollywood. But the quality of their production is a stark reminder of the inherent risks associated with filmmaking. In terms of popularity, and in spite of their obvious flaws, the films are watched more than the cinema films. The mantra, the show must go on, echoes loudly in the world of as movies made in Asaba. And there are moments when its application becomes not just insensitive, but downright perilous. Such strategies underline the fact that the show cannot and should not proceed at any cost. For example, the tragic incident where cinematographer Halana Hodgson's lost her life due to a mishandled prop gun serves as a stark reminder. Nollywood and its global audience are now mourning the loss of Junior Pope and four other actors who drowned after their boat capsized in Anam River in Anambra State while returning from the location of the movie shoot. The irony of this particular incident is that the day before, while going on the set, Pope had made the video while on the boat, asking the driver to move with caution. Worse still, the driver of the boat seemed unperturbed by his pleas or the danger of the ride itself. Little did the actor know that his fears will eventually come to pass the day after. As the industry mourns another loss, there has been a call for critical evaluation of practices and the protection of those who bring Nigerian stories to life on screen. While it's easy to assign blame or attribute these events to fate, the focus must now shift towards proactive measures to safeguard the lives of all involved in filmmaking. Emeka Rollers, president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, has suspended movie production involving riverine areas indefinitely following the death of the actor John Pope and others. We're heading for a short break, but stay with us because we will shortly be back to bring on our special guests. Richard Mufe Damijo, Ireti Doyle, and Kanayo O. Kanayo. Perspectives will return in just a moment. Do stay with us. On, here on the Rise News. Believe me when I tell you that this episode of the program will perhaps go down as one of the most eventful that we have had. Great, great individuals joining us to have a lively and timely conversation, starting with Richard Mufe Damijo, popularly known and as fondly, is fondly called, who is unarguably one of the biggest actors to come out of Nigeria and Africa as a whole. Having starred in over 100 movies and TV series, locally and internationally, RMD is, today is one of the highest grossing actors in Africa with his films in the last decade, grossing over 3 billion naira at the box office alone. A man of many parts, RMD is a lawyer, PR consultant, and life coach. Since his return from public service, RMD has starred in numerous box office streaming and television hits. He has also won the heart of executive producer on numerous projects, including his hit TV series, The Mr. X Family Show, and his recently produced film since Out of Bounds, Out of Bounds, sorry, Radio Voice. Richard Mufe Damijo has received numerous awards and recognitions from all over the world and is a member of the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences, the Oscars. He continues to represent Nigeria at the global stage where he stands as an advocate for societal change, championing various global campaigns, as well as carrying out his passionate stand against gender-based violence and advocating for women and children's rights all over the world. His activities in these areas have made him a United Nations influencer on women and children's rights. We are also blessed to be having to join us is Siren Siren, Ireti Doyle, in a career that has spanned Three decades in the Nigerian entertainment industry, Iriti Doyle's credit cuts across stage, television, film, and print. 
an accomplished writer, actor, producer, and presenter. She is a renowned writer as well as an avid social commentator who at different times penned for various newspapers. Iriti has been nominated several times for different awards at home and abroad. In 2013 and 2014, Iriti was declared Best Actress in a Lead Role. She is also a two-time winner and five-time AMVCA nominee and a two-time winner for her part in the ensemble piece Tinsel, where she has portrayed the enigmatic Sheila Ade Williams from 2019 to date. She is also a highly sought-after public speaker and teacher of the crafts. Her philanthropy focuses on young girls, especially those who have suffered trauma. Iriti supports several organizations who do the work. Described as an actor's actor, she is renowned for pitch-perfect performances. And last but definitely not the least of our highly accomplished guest is Kanayo O Kanayo, the enigma himself, Kanayo O Kanayo, who started his acting career in 1982, acting in productions by the Nigerian Television Authority. He made his debut movie appearance in 1992 in the film Living in Bondage. K.O.K., as he is fondly called, has since starred in over 350 films and was nominated in 2008 for Academy Movie Award for Best Actor for his role in the movie Across the Niger. His most recent movies are Up North and Living in Bondage, Breaking Free. Kanaya has featured in multiple Nollywood productions, including Nile Hat and the sitcom Professor John Bull. However, he is known for playing the role of a villain in these productions, especially in films relating to occultic practices. He has received the national honor of member of the Order of the Federal Republic, an honor that was bestowed on him during his centenary celebration of Nigeria. A warm welcome to all of you, and very many thanks for answering my call. I mean, I'm sitting in front of um, Nollywood reality, you know. And I could see from the intro that I read that it didn't sit well with some of you. So first and foremost, let's clear this air. Is there any such thing as, as, as a baboon? No. 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 Uh, but why is it called that then? You called it. Uh, the well, I did my research and I heard that it exists. No, your research no. is wrong. Yeah, no. It's a location. Asaba is a location. Listen. But is it not a coin phrase? It's not a. By no. who? By who? No. Let, let you see. This is an opportunity to educate. Exactly. So let's not. Let's, you know. Nollywood is the Nigerian movie industry. Mm -hmm. You have producers, you have productions going on in Lagos, Asaba, Enugu. Kano, mm -hmm. Abuja, Joss. Mm -hmm. There are movie hubs all over the place. Mm -hmm. Even within Lagos, you have hubs in Le Leki, some in Suruleri, some in Maryland. Mm -hmm. That's the way it works. So when you hear uh, um, Asaba Wood, that's just the location where those movies are made and people who work there on a normal. Mm -hmm. Do you get? Mm -hmm. But it's all under Nollywood. Okay. We know it's under Nollywood, uh -huh. but there's also the speculation that this particular genre of movies are very low budgeted, are not um, um, high quality, and they are not shown in cinemas. The cinematography, the mode of production, the amount of money spent in making a movie, they say it's like chalk and cheese, almost like a cheap and cheerful. And it appeals, appeals to the market woman or appeals to the taxi driver. And what's wrong um, with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Uh -huh. But my point is, is that the demarcation? Is that the difference between cinema movies and movies shot in this area? First areas? of all, you, the way you say cinema movies, you make it sound as if that's the ultimate attainment for a producer. There are people who have no desire to produce cinema films. Mm. There are people who exist solely to feed this market that you're talking mm -hmm. about. And you're not going to produce, if, if I'm catering to the masses, I'm not going to produce a high valuting uh, movie they're not they're not likely to understand it so every producer understands the audience that they're catering to and will serve whatever they're serving accordingly that's how it works you cater to your market okay but there's also been the accusation of the fact that because these movies are such low budgets they do not make preparation for the life and welfare of the people that participate in it like for instance the John Pope affair where the man drowned. There was no life jacket worn. We don't know whether the people that were riding the boats were professional. And that if you were promoting a movie that had more investment and maybe better quality, the people who participate in the movies would be better taken care of. Like for instance now with this accident, who do you blame? Is it the producer? Is it the person that was riding the boat? 
You blame everybody. Yeah, but who will be held responsible? The producer. But the producer has, to, has come out to say that she's not to blame. Well, it doesn't uh, matter. Let, let's what hear Richard. Go it, ahead uh, before I come in on this. Talk. I, I, I don't think that at, at the point where we are, it's um, it's to be playing the blame game right now. But somebody has somebody has to be blamed. Nat right? Naturally. Held responsible. Naturally. Oh, held, yeah. held responsible. Naturally. You say be actress and I will know. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, the law of the land, you know. Uh, puts it, the, the onus rests on the person that is causing uh -huh. that production to be put together. Uh -huh. Okay? Um, now, in the process of saying that, uh, or whilst, whilst I'm saying that, uh, there are people who are participating in the film uh -huh. itself. We also have a responsibility to be able to say yes or no if the conditions that prevail are not acceptable. Mm. And this has nothing to do with low budget. Thank you. Nigeria happens to all of us. I have been in productions here in Lagos that are supposedly high quality productions. And you are made to go through certain things that ordinarily you will not go through. So if I see a situation that is life threatening to me, even with a gun to my head by the producer, I will not go on that set. But it's as simple as that. There are people who will label you all kinds of names, just you know, name. just because you will not take certain uh, uh, um, things that they are asking you to do. But, you know, um, if, you, if you do take it and something happens to you, then you also have a responsibility, you know, to, to, to yourself. I, I, I will not, for instance, let, 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 me, let me give you a situation now. If I was in that situation, I wouldn't go on that boat. Oh, okay. Now, that is a personal choice. The producer will have to, you know, uh, find... It. You cannot tell me that, oh, I should go buy my own uh, 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 life jacket or it is my responsibility to go and hire a life jacket. No, it is your responsibility. But don't you think this also has to do with the fact that it is such a low budget that they have? It has Maybe nothing to just low no. budget. It has nothing to do with just low budget. It has to do with people not being responsible enough um. when they are supposed to be. They make this whole thing of Nigeria happening to all of us, you know, it, it cuts across so badly that people stop to acknowledge what their own responsibility is, even when Nigeria is happening to all of us. Yes. Okay. You know, say um, something. Yeah, thank you very much, Aaron, before taking it. Uh, it has nothing to do with low budget, because even in Hollywood, the biggest movie industry in the world, there are low budget films. It has to do with taking responsibility. And as is known worldwide in productions, the producer is the business person of every production and carries the responsibility, like they say in law, the maximum of vicarious liability for everybody who's on set. So must take the responsibility of what has happened. Unfortunately, as we speak, uh, part of productions have become uh, like mob action, where people give out opinions of what they think about. Uh, I'm not really happy about uh, the many people who have spoken. People should have kept quiet for the guild has to speak. And for that, there's need to consult lawyers in this sense to ask what would this be under the law? Does the producer owe responsibility to this? The Asabad incident was tragic. Unfortunately. But like that before too. And avoidable. Yeah. You know, but the fact of the matter, I, I want to submit on this program that in the past we have taken risks more than this. Just like Kennedy Kongo admitted last week, mm. some of us took boat rides to, in those days, about 20 something years ago, to Tapa Bay and so on. But having grown to this level now, like RMD admitted, I would say no, even on behalf of others who are on the show, to say we cannot live on this boat without the necessary uh, things being provided. So it's not a matter of low budget, it's a matter of responsibility of what the duties and responsibilities of what a producer owes the actors and what the actors owe the producers. And that's where we should draw the line. Okay, there's, I want to ask, there's um, a, a Queen Blessing Egbi e e e e Gerson, President Association of Movie Producers, said that the AGN president, Emeka Rulers, does not have the power to suspend a producer. Uh -huh. That his power begins and ends with the Actors Guild of Nigeria. 
He also does not have the power to stop production, as that falls within the purview of the Federation of Guilds. So, Ruth, could you so what's your that? take on that? Interview. Let me respond. Okay. You see, when people speak, uh, you, you ask them, are they playing politics with the issues? Are they trying to be uh, uh, just offer opinions? I was so unhappy yesterday when I was listening to the president of AMP. Mm. When there's an air crash, what does NCAA do? That, that airline does not fly the next day until investigations are carried out. And that's what the president of AGN did. Mm. To say, for now, no more shooting in the river and high areas. And unless we come to the same page with this producer, actors must not go. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't speak on behalf of the uh, producers. He spoke on, the, on behalf of those who were under his tutelage mm. as president of the Actors Guild, for which I'm a member. So when Queen comes to speak in that manner, we must make sure that when there is an incident or accident of this magnitude, people mm. must learn to speak with caution because lives are involved. Families are grieving. People are, uh, are, are, are in one corner hoping to know whether lawyers have taken or have advised the parties on what to do. Mm. Just like the gun incident in America. Did you hear of any actor speaking? No. So people must learn to speak with caution when things like this happen. So the president of actor Guild never gave a blanket ban on producers, mm. producing Hollywood. It was just for the moment, let's do our investigations. And after that, we can resume whatever it is okay. with these people. Do you have any... Anything to add to that? Because I don't think you quite agreed when we spoke about this um, earlier on. I appreciate the light that he's shown on it mm -hmm. because it shows, you know, when things are put out there, it, things are said in the heat of the, mm -hmm. uh, of the moment and stuff. He's, he shed for the light on it and I have clarity now. Okay. Um, my problem is not just with the declaration or, or what was declared in this singular instance mm. my query and it was part of what we were talking about before the interview was like okay when you get up to decree these things in your in your capacity as the president of a guild be it the actors guild or mm -hmm. whatever are there any and i'm glad i have two lawyers because mm. i i genuinely would like to gain understanding what laws of the land back you up because it's one thing to be all caught up in our emotions and then there's the black and white of it. Mm. Do you understand? We can empathize, but still keep our eyes on the black and white. Are there any laws of the land backing you up that enforces all of us to comply? Mm. I think it will work better that way. And if we, if we have these laws, let's, let's, let's be sure we can enforce them. And then, then we know that we know what we're doing and we can do it all properly. And we know that this is a law. So are there laws backing, backing up these, are there laws of the land backing up the guilds? Let's oh, begin yes. from oh, there. Yes, oh, yes. The, the guilds are duly registered and with the Corporate Affairs Commission. Of course, they now make bylaws. I mean, you don't call them laws again. They are bylaws because they are derivative of uh, what uh, the ultimate law of the country is. And when these bylaws are made, are made according to the rules of engagement. The rules of engagement for the Actors Guild, the rules of engagement for the Producers Guild, Directors Guild, and so on. So each have what lo uh, bylaws that under them their members can operate. And say, in terms of this, if an artist is harassed, in terms of this, not paid artist fees, these are the positions to take. If there is an incident, this is what to do. If there's a death of an artist who observes their silence, all these, all these are uh, submissions made under every guild to protect its members. Okay, now that you say that, let me, let's get back to Richard. Do you, what do you think should be outlined in contracts between producers and talent before filming commences? How should regular monitoring and inspection of filming, set, filming sets be done? How can the AGN ensure that all stakeholders are actively engaged in upholding safety standards? Well, in terms of the way you phrase the question makes it difficult for me to answer. But um, like he said, there are rules of engagement in everything, you know, in everything you do. So when 
when a producer brings people together to do a film uh, from crew, from cast to crew, there are rules of engagement. And it is, it is, it is the onus of making sure that those rules of engagement are obeyed yes. falls on the producer and also the directors or uh, sorry uh, uh, the, the the crew members or the actors so everybody operates within their own, the, the rules of engagement okay, okay. so if for instance you, uh, in my contract uh, you say my call time is 5 p.m uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, they can only see, the, the producer can only tell me that it is it is now my my responsibility to show up at that time now if i don't show up at that time ordinarily there should be sanctions in most cases there are no sanctions yeah but are there regulatory bodies that can continue to watch over that on a regular basis as the film is being made to avoid no, 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 no 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 so for so under under every film mm -hmm. that will be done by the producer okay. of that film for that now if there is a member uh, maybe a crew member or an actor who they feel did not, you know, operate within the rules mm -hmm. of that that production, because it's a legal. There are legal, you know, yes. uh, contracts between. You. you don't actually need the guilds to do that. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Um, Kalayo, I remember that you just you posted a movie recently. I'm mean, sorry, it, it, you did a post recently mm -hmm. talking about YouTube, and you said that it's not going to last long because your colleagues are messing it up. What are the co core issues with this? With this process what are the important things that need to be addressed concerning this particular youtube um marketing why uh, do you see it as a problem yeah youtube came as a very good platform to bring some respite to some things that happened uh, i'm not going to mention all here oh. uh, in, to protect the industry things that happened way back in 10 15 years ago with some of the people who were producing or sponsoring movies, they could oh. produce us. Uh, they, some of them even had the temerity to ban or suspend uh, 10 or 12 actors about 10, 12 years ago. And um, they operated and wielded the big stick. Uh, and the industry became like something under the, under the powers of some people. And um, so when YouTube came, it gave this ample opportunity and avenue uh -huh. for people to do their things, put them on that platform, and earn their revenue directly. Uh -huh. And that was a very good one. Beautiful. Because you no longer have to go through the video sensors board, this process, and so on. Even the skip makers are making a kill out of it. Uh -huh. And some of them, uh, I can tell you, that from the comfort of their homes, they are doing their own bits. Mm. And, but then, like everything, I, like I said in that video, which I posted yesterday, yesterday, that happens around us. Nigeria happened to us, like he said. Uh, it's beginning to happen in, uh, everybody has become a producer. Nothing wrong with that. But then let's become producers with responsibility. Let's begin to do things from a point of strength that can beautify the industry. We have been through thick and thin of what has happened to our lives with entertainment. So when people put up their contents, we should see not just quality, but we should see service. Now what is happening is that some new sheriffs have come on the block. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them begin to answer new Nollywood and so on, and that's quite unfortunate. And they begin to have the tendency to operate as if they were gods, giving people one day to shoot 30 scenes. That's the angle I'm going to. No, but to, is that even physically possible? No, 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 it's physically, no, no, that's, that's the point we're addressing. And that's, RMB has been, RMB is our big man, so he's not been on location for a long time. This is an information I'm bringing to him. We know of one person who started the one day shoot in Hollywood. I'm not going to mention his name because everybody knows. When you say what do you mean one day shoot, meaning the means film is he made will, from you will exhaust to all end. your 25, 30 cents with him in one day. And he ends his 100,000. He later increased to 150, 200. And some new guys on the block have also come in, shooting all this knowledge, because the, 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 the YouTube contents are shot under four days, maximum five. 
you can make your investigations around. Now, when they give you these conditions, you must finish with them under one day. And they are charging one million naira, 1.5 for one day. You may not know this. The health implications is grave. Because the guy who started it is not in good health, unfortunately, right now. And I'm giving a warning I'm that it is not, it's a professional conduct that will do us no good. I don't understand. Why is your why are you looking? No, no, Irati does not operate in I, that. I, 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 no, but are you guys I'm aware not, of it? Yeah, no, he's it does it's not operate. That's a yeah, basket. Irati is on Tinsel and so on. So he's not, no. is not majorly. For, um, fortunately, I have, you know, no, I'm not just on time. I'm, 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 I'm mainstream. <laughs> no, but are you guys <laughs> aware of this one day? Um shooting a movie I, one I'm, day. I'm period. not a I'm not a uh, are, are you aware of it? I don't I've never no, experienced but first of all, it. How feasible is it? Listen. Um, he said several things, and there's a lot to unpack. Let's mm -hmm. talk about YouTube. Are you just upset with the low quality stuff on YouTube coming from Nollywood? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, because YouTube is a platform. It's a global platform, mm -hmm. meaning that anybody from anywhere in the world and can you can earn money from it too. Let's. It's a platform for content. Whether you're doing it because you're happy or you want money is beside the point. You can't, we can't gatekeep it, is what I'm trying to say. If a bunch of people are getting up there and putting up mediocre stuff, audience retention or not will determine how long they last there. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Let people be. Bros that is shooting 350 scenes in one day. I don't think there are too many people. I don't even know. I don't want to speak for them. How do you police that? How do you police that? The only way you police that is by doing your own production and not, sh not shooting no, 30 we're days. Not, we're not going to form a committee to police that. I mean, sometimes you give advice that helps your industry. You're not regulating, you're not policing, but the fact okay. of the matter is, the, it, what it is doing to the industry is better not discussed. Because the guys give so much condition. I mean, they have to Who are you be, talking I, to about the, when you say the guys, are you talking about the producers or the performers? Actors. I'm talking about the that, performers. That, who take the actors. This. I'm not yes. even talking let's, about let's, the producers. Let's hear what Richard has to say. Uh, I, I think the, as I talked about personal responsibility. I, I get to Richard's point. Like, it's hard to gatekeep whoever is employing and all of that. But if you are the employee, there's, you have got to be able to draw the line. Mm. I say this all the time, and I say it with all modesty. And sometimes the younger ones will say, oh, but it's because you, you can say this because you are RMD. And I'll say to them, no, you have to start. KOK will be able to witness. I did not drop from the sky. I started mm. like everybody else from bottom. Okay, but yes, but <clears throat> at that time, as, as, as a rookie as I was when I started in 98, and Dalan Dibako is my witness, you cannot tell me, uh, even at that time that I was a fresh graduate from University of Benin, you cannot tell me to do work for, uh, uh, for say, 18 hours in 24 hours, and I will agree. That's the point I'm making. Unless, unless there's something wrong with me. I have it, a question. Yes. I asked a few sentences ago. Yes. I said, are there any laws of the land backing up this industry that insist that you can only work 12 hours a day, and if we catch you working beyond 12 hours, there are repercussions? You have worked outside these shows on this okay. continent there are countries whereby once it is six o'clock yes now crew they that. wrap up the machine we all and nobody is grumbling nobody is we all know that it is six to six that is the law of the land so why is it that here producer a can run uh, three, 35 it's scenes a day I, I will answer you i will answer you mm -hmm. it's not that there is no law mm -hmm. for instance my contract says 12 hours right mm -hmm. and we have done 12 hours and the producer is looking at me and he's saying, I am the please. Mm. Please. I don't have this house. Bending, bending listen, the rules. Listen, listen. This you're, house is not available for tomorrow. You, you and I have been in sets where we, we have done understand? more this than house 15 was hours. This is $200,000 per day. It's not available for tomorrow. It becomes, a, it, it, it becomes your choice. Yeah, okay. It becomes your choice. Let's go on a break now. We're going on a break now so that we can continue this. I mean, I'm just enjoying the conversation about what you, you guys are having and it's really an eye-opener. 
for a lot of people. So we're going on a break. We'll be back in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. I'm here with three superstars. Eh? So we'll see you soon. Welcome back to Perspectives. We just had a very interesting heated debate here whilst we were on break. Now, Richard, you said something because I know Kanye was talking about how, and Iriti was talking about how, like in South Africa, you're given a certain time, and after that time, come rain, come sun, come shine, you down tools and you move on. But you somewhat disagree because you also, you also said that when you, your contract says you should, you should work 12 hours, if you stand by it, the producer now comes and is trying to emotionally get you to do extra hours. And if you don't do it, you now are blacklisted. So is how far, how far, how far, what, how far true is that? It, it is very true. I mean, ordinarily, it is supposed to be 12 hours in, 12 mm. hours out. Mm. Now, when you are, when you are doing, when you get to a situation where you have done your 12 hours, mm -hmm. And the producer says, oh, uh, let, can you just give us an extra hour mm. so we can, we, because well, what we are doing. we paid for that extra hour. Well, not, no, it's no. Not so I so, said, oh, please, can we just extend? Because if we don't finish today, we won't be able to have good continuity. I can opt to say, okay, yes, I will, I will work. But it cannot become a habit mm. that all through that production every day, I must do 15, 16 hours. Mm. I've been in a production recently where um, we had done the 12 hours. And the younger ones in the, on the set, they came to my room, my holding room, to ask me to tell the producer to please strike the set that they are tired and that day, they working extra hours yes they, they were about to work extra hours okay. and of course they knew that i wasn't going to work the extra hour but unbeknownst to them the producer had come to me to say to me oh i i i, I think i might have to extend a little bit and i asked for how long I can extend a little bit. Of course, I'm human. I, I, sometimes I wear the producer's cap as well. And they were, he was like, maybe another three hours. And I said, I'm sorry. I can't do three hours. Because it is going to be that long, can we move it to the next, the next day? day? I'll come early and then we'll start. So I had that. But when the other actors came to me and said, ah, Papa, please help us. So I said, no. I said, so this is where I draw the line. You must learn to also be able to assert yourself and say, yeah, I have that, done that, 12 hours. That doesn't, doesn't that also, I mean, they came to you. Obviously, no, they didn't think they had I a strong knew what, I, No, no, no. I knew what is ha was happening. And I needed to let them know that they have a voice as well. Yeah, they might have a voice, but is it powerful Ruth, enough Ruth, to make an impact? Ruth, I know what I'm saying. I had to keep doing this to get to this point where I am. Now, they are too afraid without any good reason. You see, if yeah, but you... could be blacklisted. I get blacklisted all the time. But the thing is, when you get blacklisted by one person, you move on to the next thing. But I can assure you that if you what... I what he means by being blacklisted. Yes, yeah. I, 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 I can assure it. you that if you keep moving on and keep, keep, keep being on the part of truth, they will circle back to you unless you have nothing to offer. Let me ask. Yes. Um, okay, okay. What are the reasons that are usually, usually cause, cause, causes this extension of timing? You could be shooting in an apartment uh -huh. or a mansion uh -huh. rented by the producer uh -huh. and it's not available for the next day. And it's the big one name. If it's not even a matter of paying for it the next day, mm -hmm. it's not available. Or can they come back from America? Mm. Like he said, if they ask for three hours, you, you get into this problem to say, guys, we can't do three hours, but how do we clear that we don't come back here tomorrow? You now say, can we do one hour? You start, there's something significant RMD said here. Most of us are actors who wear the producer's toga. Uh -huh. We are produced. Uh -huh. So we're also in their shoes when they ask for certain things. But we also make sure we carry everybody along. It's a teamwork that makes the dream work. 
Alright, like, even talking about that, carrying along, things happen on set that you, you don't have control over and you have to extend. Mm. And let that, let that be the mantra. Be, especially if you are an actor who can put on the producer's hat. So if I know I've run my, my cast and crew for 12 hours and I want an extension of two or three, the onus is on me as a producer to make the extra hours as comfortable as possible. And it doesn't even have to be major things. Water, a little extra food, something. The problem here is that, and it's not a Nollywood problem, it's a Nigerian problem. But we do not put a premium on our human capital. That is why somebody will build a, a big plaza and you won't have parking space. You will only have three toilets. toilets. The but people I that want to ask, why are the producers so powerful? Can a producer make or break an actor's career? Nobody no. can make or break no. your career. No. So where does no. this blacklist come sense, in? In the sense, they can because, delay it's a, you. because it's a producer's market. Yeah. Because it's a they can delay you yeah. and who the who is they paying the piper exactly? They so you can be seen as job. being difficult. So is it word of mouth? Oh, Richard Mofeta Major is difficult. Don't use him, and they take it as gospel. And no, the thing is this: you know, so when, you your talk, talents, when you kept on talking about talk banning, banning, I said, do you understand what RMD means? Mm -hmm. What he means is this: they will discuss you at a fora where you will not be mm -hmm. ah, RMD. Uh, they stick for that in twelve hours. So I'm, just, I'm telling you, I'm always on set. Yeah, but is that a negative? Listen now, I mean. <laughs> There is no need arguing for the, the madman who has a gun or has mm. a knife. Mm. Don't argue. Mm. Do you understand? Try not, not to be at that BSC or MSC level where you say you can't do me, no, nothing. No, 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 yeah. no. Try to have an easy way to strategize. Now, so if they come to you and it's like um, um, you stick to your terms and say, I don't like the food you bring. Can I have my food this way? Mm -hmm. Somebody could be saying somewhere, just because the thing you're saying is right. Somebody say, now, it go say make they bring him food from uh, this five star hotel, or if they give uh, this thing, or maybe on that side they drink pure water and they expect you at your level to drink pure water. These are small things, but very strategic that they may discuss about where you are not. So, some other minds who are where they're discussing that uh, you drink uh, bottled water, or that if it's, that, it's beyond that 12 hours, you won't go, will say, Ah, no, no custom for this role. So, in other words, you don't have a voice. No, not that we don't actor. have. You are doing the right thing, but but if you stick to the right thing, yes, you, are you going to pay a price for that? Yes, yes. That's exactly what we're trying to tell you. Yes. Pay a price for that. Pay a price. I'm so in other words, if you are going to pay not, a price, then that means you have no say. No, 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 no. 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 It doesn't mean you don't have you a say. I, 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 I have. I, like, like, like I said, I pay the price all the time. I con and I continue to pay the price, mm -hmm. but it has not changed the fact that I'm on the path of truth. Exactly. And, and it doesn't change your trajectory. It might slow you down. But you see, here's the thing. You now become known for quality and the right people. What we, see, we, we always look at things from the negative. I tend to look at them from the positive. When you maintain those boundaries, uh -huh. it just ensures that the people you're not meant to work with do not okay, come to you. The from the of shop. course. That's it. Those who want your service because you want that yeah. 12 hours will come for you. And for the young ones watching who are saying that, oh, you can only say this because you have your your big... Your, you your there's no, no I mean, this hold on, cross my mind. hold on, there's no denying that you're not going to wish away yes. almost a hundred years yes. worth of experience here. However, you are now operating in, a, in, a, in an era where it's not one person's market. We do, you know, the, the, the gatekeeping has reduced a little bit. Hmm. So if you have the talent, for those who have the talent, Come in understanding what your boundaries are mm -hmm. and begin to speak them in a very polite tone from the word, word jump. So they know if, if they're going to term you difficult, let them term you difficult. But, uh, you want to come from for Janet, oh, she's difficult. But we like her talent. Yeah, the, people who, the people who recognize the talent and who are willing to do things right will come for you. Okay, there's one question I want to ask. Do you guys have an insurance platform? Because you hear of actors who were very successful in their time and they fall ill and they are living a life of penury. They are begging for money to survive. Why is that like that? Yeah, and they will answer the question about <laughs> No, but it's I will, I will, it's, it's, it's I will, got, I will I can not trust the answer. I can, I can, I can, I can answer. I can, you can answer each one. There, there, are, there are some insurance schemes that the guilds run. Okay. Uh -huh. 
Um, how effective, again, is, is another uh, question. And also, there is personal responsibility. When, when you are just like a... So, so, so the other thing is this, that people will always hear about actors because they are celebrities or because uh -huh. they are known figures. People, the, the same thing that happens to actors is what happens to bankers and, 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 and people in oil and gas yeah. or whatever. If you do not save well, if you do not plan for your retirement, you know, you will suffer for it. And unfortunately, most of us in the industry do not also plan for our retirement. And that is why people have to contribute money when, every time we are ill. You know, for, but these for, monies that are being contributed, where did they normally come from? Do you guys from have... Actors, from, from so all actors now get yes, together. Yes, 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 yes. Um, you know, one, uh, every, every opportunity I get to speak to young act actors, I remind them. It is, it's not because I say so. Google it. Google the acting profession. It is guaranteed that if you choose professional acting as a career path, it is guaranteed that you're going to spend a large chunk of your working life not as an actor. It's, no, it's a no-brainer. You will not always be the flavor of the month. There are months where your phone will not ring. So you must have something else that you're doing. You must find something else that you're doing. Is there a skill that you have? Is there something you can do on the side? Is there some business? Is there for whatever it is? And then as your celebrity goes, you use your celebrity to push that forward. Go and ask all the greats. Everybody had their days of, of small beginnings. So there is, you owe yourself a sense, a, a personal, a, a duty of care. You must look after yourself. Insurance, how far does it go? It takes one major illness to wipe you out. That's you with savings. It, God forbid, one major illness is enough to wipe the average individual out. Mm. Talk to of someone that doesn't have any savings. You must know what you're doing. And as soon as you begin to earn, you need to put a little bit of aside and begin to invest that in something. Okay, what, what do you have to say? Yeah, you know, we have... Um evolved several interventions and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say we I'm talking about the actors get on Nigeria um, fortunately I'm very close to uh, make a the president and some of the executives and uh, all efforts made in the past to ensure actors have a very minute part of the artist fee paid into a fund has failed Unfortunately, that's why I also... But I, what, 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 what are the actors supposed to do? How is, how is it supposed to work? They don't see it. They are, they are, too, they are too myopic. Ma to, not just to myopic. There are people, be, yeah, there are people no, who how, have become top stars and I, think they have 10 lives. No, no, no. No, can I, can I hear my I opinion? Finish. Can I, Let can I hear my opinion? And then you can there are, there are people reason. who, for instance, who do not attend the actors' meeting because of their status. That's just simple. So now... They, having such people contribute a little of what they earn, just like the social security system in America. Is it not part of uh, what you earn from what your salary is uh, that they uh, take it? Uh, That's exactly what we're talking about here. So if there are people who feel too big to even attend meetings, contribute. That's why it has failed over the years. Even though there are H HMOs and so on, that people get signed on. Like I, I got signed on by Rock recently and so on, you know, because uh, I did something with them. What we're saying on the last scale is this, and we're not here to blame actors or parry things mm -hmm. and so on. We're saying there's need for actors to have a little of their earnings contributed into a phone for the rainy day. It's okay. quite important. I made a video and I called it Onye There's nobody. What does who, that mean? Onye, there's nobody who it is all well for. Mm. There's no Nigerian star or anybody in the world if not for the health, health intervention in the countries, who can sustain himself. Okay, but there is an insurance that can be drawn, like if you're on dialysis, mm -hmm. that can take care of you on a rainy day. I mean, but there's need for you to make personal savings here and there before you call for public support. Relax, you will soon talk. Let him finish. No, even if you want to disagree with me, can I make my point? Yeah, no, it's just simple. Let so the fact finish. of the matter is this. I mean, there is room for... There is room for... Um, drawing from whatever one has saved personally. Yeah. There's room for p family interventions. There's room for friends' interventions. All this. There's, so there's the, no man who's an island who this, can take care of himself kitty, when he's sick. This kitty purse that you say that actors should do, 
Is it obligatory or is it this a person of choice? You know when you said actors should pay a certain amount of money yes. into a, a platform yes. that you can use to the guild. Yes, to the guilds. Now, is this obligatory or is it a choice? As, as, it as should in, not. It's saving for the rainy day. I know, but is Those, it, you is don't it have to be sick as when you're contributing. Yeah, but is it a rule that you have put in place that they must do? The, the Actors Guild, as long as I know, has been trying to do that for many years. Oh, okay. And it hasn't succeeded? It hasn't succeeded. People just don't. It takes a, a while for people to... For you to even be able to buy insurance or sell insurance. Mm. Because people don't believe. Nigerians don't okay. believe in it. Nigerians don't even write will. Like life insurance. Yes. The Nigerians don't even write wills because they say they will not die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And Unity has been dying yes, to, please, to talk. So I, I, don't like, I don't like your, pro, pro, your proverbs and your attitudes. I'm not dying. Um, my Figure brother, my darling Kanayo. Um, why do, why, I don't want to say why. It is always assumed that people are not involved because they see themselves in a certain light. I, I, I beg to differ. Why do we always look at it that, like that? When you look at it like that, you've, you've presumed upon them and therefore they are dismissed. This is how I see things. You join an organ, and I, I, I'm not speaking for anybody, I'm speaking in general, Actors Guild, or Ikoyi Club, or Arise TV, or anywhere. You join a thing because you see the value in it. Mm -hmm. It's basic human nature. I want to join Ikoyi Club because, oh, I want to connect with the people there. I want to be a member of this because, oh, there are advantages here and there. If you make something valuable and attractive, people will come to you. So you don't see you value will, in what they're I doing? I don't put words in my I'm mouth. Asking. This has become a one-on-one -on -one with me and you. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Please. I do see the value. I see what it can be. I see the protection it can give if positioned properly. And we focus on the things that are really important. If the guild is run properly, you won't need to, to issue people um, insurance. If I am guaranteed that my, I have a basic salary by law, if I am protected by law and I can function and earn properly by law, I will go and get my own insurance. So you see, yes, do we need to strengthen the guilds? And then you keep on saying, I, I've heard it. When I say you, I'm not talking about Mr. Kanayo. In general, I've, I've read it, it, this, how many celebrities are there and how many aspiring actors are there. There are more aspiring actors than there are celebrities. If all these aspiring actors join and see value and put their money, you won't need the celebrities. What is my point? We need to make it more attractive. We need to strengthen it. We, we need to make it more, more all-inclusive, if that, that's the word that applies. And people will naturally draw towards it. You're talking about the guilty. In no. general. Yeah. You're talking about the guilty. No. In general. <laughs> Can I, do you have anything else to add to that? What, what I would want to add, uh, add to that is um, to tell every actor, just like whenever actors get of Nigeria, on, on the two occasions I was in Asaba, they had this health work, and it starts at seven. I can assure you that I knew of top actors who were filming in Asaba, who could, didn't, didn't come by 6.30 for us to leave, and that's not good. When we, we can encourage the younger actors by what we do, you can imagine an RMD coming to uh, Interbo, to the stadium, a distance of a kilometer and a half, to encourage the hard work. People will not know it's a serious thing. But when top actors stay back in their hotel, it's not encouraging. You know, so that's what I, I, I'm talking about. Actors who think they have nine lives and so on. We are all actors on the scale okay. of... I want to... to um, um, I want to first ask you, okay, okay. I remember there was a, you said, concerned in Hollywood industry, that what an old man can see sitting, a young mm. man cannot see standing on the tallest building. Mm. Do you want to elaborate on that a bit more? It, it was, uh, the health implications of uh, what uh, my colleagues who are going through the one, one day shoot. Okay. Uh, yes, because, um, like I also said in that uh, video, uh, <laughs> you keep on cutting the, the, the meat from the cow it will finish. Okay. And uh, because I know my colleague whose names are withheld, uh, is not in good health, and anywhere he goes now, the wife has to lead him around. Okay. His sight is failing. We are so getting on, to the end of the good. show, and this has been the most robust interview as always. But do you have any last words? 
Any of you? Let's start with you, Richard. Any last words for the road? Uh, I just wanted to uh, pick it, uh, you know, on, on uh, what part of the things that uh, Iriti and um, Kanayo are saying about guilds and, and, and people showing up and all of that. Um, I, I don't think that you can have all actors attend meetings. Okay. So long as they are probably financial members and all of that, because you can't have, if you're looking, like you said, if you're looking for where the day every actor will come to uh -huh. a meeting, that, that's not going to happen. Yes, yes, that's Thank never going so to happen. Much. But show, show responsibility, show interest, whatever it is that your, your, your attention is needed. Okay. Uh, you could, you don't have any last to words? Meetings. Yes, we all need to do better. All of us, okay. in our personal capacities as performers, as producers, as hiring of hands, most especially as producers. You cannot want all the glory without taking the responsibility. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Any last words? I would never move for every actor to be at an event to promote even the guild's interest. Mm -hmm. But I will always say teamwork, we made the dream work. Thank Let's all put our so hands much. together and work together. Thank you so much for being with us. Richard Mufet Damijo, Ireti Doyle, and Kanayo Kanayo for your very insightful opinions on the Nollywood industry. Thank you so much for being with Thanks us. Thanks for having me. Thank you for having us. Thank you. So in the Nollywood industry, or any other industry for that matter, there's almost no human action or decision that cannot be made to look flawed and less sensible in the misleading light of hindsight. As a director, actor, or producer, the era, the era of half measures should cease to exist in Nollywood. Otherwise, we'll be saddled with a long-standing session or season of consequences. We can also not undermine the importance of what ethics and insurance, as it is the embodiment of preparedness, offering a safety net when life takes an unexpected turn. And always remember, like I keep saying, life is a learning curve. That's all we have time for today. You've been watching Perspectives here on Arise News with me, Ruth Osime. See you next week. <laughs>